Hey everyone, here's a peek at the journal page we're creating today using the supplies from the Mixed Media Inspired subscription. Today I'm working in my Large Dilutions Art Journal and I'm starting out my background by gluing down a piece of Dina Weekly Media typed ledger paper. This is from set two. And I'm gluing everything down with the stress collage medium and then letting it dry 100% before I grab a dilution stencil and some Distress Transparent Gloss Texture Paste and spread it through that stencil with my palette knife. The names of all the products and the colors that I'm using today are listed in the description below. So check out there if you want to have more info. After I put down the texture paste, I'm letting it dry 100% so that it is shiny and clear as this texture paste is designed to be. And now I'm using a wet paintbrush and I'm putting that with my paint so that I get this transparent, semi-transparent look so that I'm not 100% covering up the ledger paper. It will shine through. And I'm just gonna keep applying paints and blending them together until I'm happy with the coverage. Then I'm grabbing a dry paper towel and I'm going to begin wiping off all of the flowers that I created with the gloss texture paste. And because it's glossy, it's going to wipe right off that texture paste and you're going to see it actually works as a resist. After I wiped everything off, I decided I wanted a little more dark green in the bottom right and left corners. So I am just adding that in and then once again, removing it. Then I'm grabbing a purple Posca paint pen and I am just applying that directly onto a few of the texture paste flowers and then smushing it out with my finger so that I'm getting just a hint of purple or, and adding some tones to the tops of these flowers. So it just adds a little more interest in my background. Now I'm ready to begin layering and creating my collage in the center of my page. So I'm grabbing a piece of burlap and I'm just trimming it to the size that I want it to be. So I like to cut along the lines of the burlap so that I don't have a bunch of frayed edges. It makes it much cleaner and easier. And then I'm also able to fray the edges by just pulling off some of the little pieces as you can see here. So I get even more of that frayed edge. So now that I have this to the exact size I want, I can glue it down and I'm gluing the burlap with Dina Wick the Media Ultra Thick Gel Medium. And this is a great medium when I'm working with anything that's a little bit heavier or fabrics like burlap. And I'm going to stick that down and then I'm going to begin layering the rest of my elements. And all those elements I will be gluing down with Distress Collage Medium, which is perfect for paper piecing. All of the collage elements you see here come from the 49 and Market Botanical Laser Cut Elements. And I really, really love these the laser cut element sheets because you can get such fine detail and uh, it's really great for doing this kind of collage. So you can see I've popped out several different elements, including this frame and then several flowers. And I'm going to start layering them together, a few and also some stamps that also came from that set. And you can see that I'm layering them by tucking some of the flower behind the frame, some of it in front of the frame. I'm putting the stamps behind and then layering the flowers on top of it then layering another stamp. So I'm really creating a lot of interest and depth with the order that I am actually layering my collage. And that's something that you can consider when you're doing any kind of collage is the order that you put things down really can create depth and interest in and of itself without adding a bunch of other elements. So at this point of the collage, you have the frame, the two flowers, the two stamps, and a butterfly. And now we're ready to glue down a sentiment. So this sentiment I found from one of the sheets in the Dina Wakely Media typed ledgers pack. And this is a really fun paper pack because not only can we use it for backgrounds, we can stamp on it, we can cut it up. We can also cut apart the words and use them as sentiments and quotes in our art journal pages and mixed media projects. So this is one of the words that, or one of the sentences that's in this pack. I just cut it out with my scissors and then chopped up the piece of paper so that it was in several pieces and staggered on my page, which is something I like to really do. And just like that, my art journal page is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired and got ideas to use in your own art journal. I would love to see what you're creating. So take a picture and tag us with hashtag art journal junction. If you enjoyed this video today, please give us a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button so YouTube knows you want to see more of our mixed media videos in the future.